Welcome to another video on Pivot Table Playground series. This video we are going to cover group by week and month. The questions that we'll be answering is show weekly and monthly trend of sales and while doing that create a dashboard to filter by year and quarter. Also the concepts that will be covered is summarizing dates with external columns, summarizing dates by week and month and using pivot table slicers to create filters for year and quarter. The final outcome will be looking something like this right you will have the data you will have the chart and you will have two slicers to make it give a feeling of a dashboard what we can do is get rid of the pivot table and then we can see the chart which will make this a small dashboard so let's get started by looking at the data in the data i have transaction date and sales like we have seen in the previous video but this time what we're going to do different is add month data weekly data and quarterly information also so to add that first let's begin with year because that's what we'll start with and i'm just going to use year of date to obtain the year next let's obtain month it can be done by using the month function so i'll say month of date and i'll get the month also since we want to show the dashboard by quarter we'll extract quarter the quarter part is a little tricky and this is how it's done quarter i'm going to say round up of the month divide by three and i want the digits to be zero to basically get the quarter so if, so if i copy the cells below and then filter on the data for quarter you'll see i'll be getting one two three four as a quarter right so this way i'm able to obtain the quarters for this particular data now only thing is if i basically concatenate q it will give me the information properly, right? So it will be quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, and so on and so forth. Similarly, you can look up the month and, and obtain January, February, March, and all of that by doing a small mapping table and uh, getting that information. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. Next, we'll also extract the week information. So how can we do that? I'm going to say week, and I'm going to say is equal to week number, and then take this information from here. So if you'll see here, we are basically getting one to 53. So this way we've sort of created helper columns, which will help us summarize the pivot table in using this particular columns. So I'm going to insert a pivot table now. Say, okay, let's call this as a summary sheet. And now let's get started by creating the dashboard. So first thing we're going to build the pivot table. I'm going to add sales to the values area. And I'm going to format this into the dollar format, right? So I'm going to say currency and I'm going to choose English United States, reduce to decimals and say, okay, so that way I got the sales. Then I will summarize this information by month and then by week. And you'll, you'll sort of get the information that you are looking for. Next, obviously we also want to see it and compare it by years. So I'm going to say year on the columns area and then we'll basically get all this information. But again, this is too much information to process. So hence we are going to make this into a dashboard format. How are we going to do it? We are going to basically insert slices to this and I'm going to choose, let's say year and quarter and say, okay. So that way I basically get two different slicers and I can now choose quarter one and I can compare 2018 and 2019 information in a much more neater way. Next, what we're going to do is insert a pivot chart on this particular data and have a line chart in place, right? I'm going to remove all the additional fields that we have here and we'll let that remain. Close the field list. Then I'm going to make space for this chart and I'm going to place this a little on the side here. Here I'll just change the format to a much more better one like the one we saw. And next I'm going to shorten this so that you have space to put the slices one below the other. All right, and I'll just make two rows of this so that you have both of them in one place. So this way we basically have the year and quarters and we have enough information that the user can consume at one particular time. The final thing that we can do is go to the view and remove the grid lines and, and then hide this data by going to the data tab and saying group 
and hiding that information uh, that way you can sort of add a title here saying merge say sales summary right add some borders to it or just choose some options from here let's say heading one or something like that and uh, place it in such a way that it's it fits neatly under that expand the size a little bit right and then you you now have a neat summary that the user can compare and use so this is how we basically use pivot table and group by week and month using some helper columns within this particular data in the next video we're going to explore some more options using pivot tables and uh, some more tricky situations such as this one thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel